morning, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. I am doing the official half marathon Great Ocean Road vlog um, from my car. I'm actually here in Richmond in Melbourne um, to do a Sunday run club. I had a couple of little wines last night, spilt water on me already. So let's see how we go. But um, we're officially, I think, 20 or 19 days away from the Great Ocean Road 23 kilometer hilly run. And I'm going to document a kind of how I do it. Please know I'm not a professional, I'm not a run coach, but I am a partner in a couple of professionals along the way to prep for this. But I am late, so I'm going to go. I've had half a cliff bar and a coffee um, because I ain't running on an empty stomach. And, uh, you Okay, this is Sunday Run Day Club here in Melbourne. It is free. They start at 7.30 a.m. every Sunday. And I also like to change it up by heading to 1R to do a boxing and run class as well, just to really level up my cardio. This is lunch. God, this is like my favorite way to eat, just if you're interested. Just like lots of roast veggies. There's some quinoa underneath here, which I can't. Dig to got almond feta, salads, pickled onions, Brussels sprouts, tofu. I'm just getting ready for my appointment with Nina, who's naturally Nina. She is my nutritionist that I see um, online, and I'll let you guys know how I go. Also, a moment for Romani kombucha. I mean, like, so good. There, there's stickers on my laptop, but yum. So I'm just checking in with the half marathon. So it's next Sunday. Um, today's Tuesday, uh, the week before. And I just had a nutrition appointment with Naturally Nina yesterday around like nutrition training for this. Any excuse to have some bloody carbs, I will take it. And I'm going to be upping my carb and food intake in lead up to the run. And also making sure I have the right products during the run, before the run and after the run. For those that are asking, I run in these they're nike uh, not nike these, the new balances i was a nike girl i was an asics girl and my friend emma checker who plays for uh, melbourne city she recommended new balance as she's an ambassador and oh my gosh once you go new balance i tell you you don't ow, go back so i'm just getting ready i'm kind of pulling back like today's leg day at body fit which usually i go to but i'm trying to avoid like too much load on the legs you know what i'm saying so i'm just going down to a local gym just to get a quick little uh, workout in and then I'm going to sit in the sauna. I've been meditating 10 minutes a day, which I don't know if it's helping, but I'm really liking it. And I'm going to obviously refuel with a bunch of goodness. And also I got sent these gels, which I will show you in a second. Okay, so they're so lovely. I think it's Aid Station sent me these. My friend from the gym, her friend owns his company. So these are all plant-based energy chews and gels, which is really cool because a lot of the time the gels aren't vegan um, and neither are the lollies in your arms. So it's really exciting to see some vegan gels and chews which i will actually play with these gels before i do my run and i spoke to naturally nina about these yesterday as well um so she's across and approved that these are good for my run um obviously please consult your experts or your nutritionist um but i'm very excited to have these and thank you Matthew and Jimmy for sending these. This is beautiful. Hello, little update for you. I am about to go to the gym. I'm avoiding leg day. It's Thursday, so the run is not this Sunday, but the one after. And I'm going to body fit to do an upper, upper strength class. And then I'm going to see Carla. Carla the Cairo. She's a chiropractor. I've been seeing her for probably like six to eight months and I always go and get lots of like cracking out and releasing the, all the tension in my muscles before a run or before a big event or just in general. I'm quite prone to like tightness in my back and in my legs and you don't have to see a Cairo. I don't like it. Does, it's not 100% necessity to be able to run a run a half marathon but I really have like enjoyed it also my jaw like a lot of tension um so I go and see her she is available to see in Docklands in Coburg um and I'll pop a link in the show notes but I will film some of that when I get there but now Get some good cracking in. So Carla, you can see her in Docklands or also in Coburg. I love cupping and I love getting cracked out. It's not scary, I promise. It is officially eight days from Great Ocean Road. I'm in Sydney at the moment and so I'm trying to stay up to date with training. I just did a 12K along the Bay Run. It's like in Huddlef Huddlefield, Leichhardt area. It's so nice and quite flat with a few little hills, which is good for next week. That was really hard. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous for next Sunday because it's literally double that and hills plus way colder. But oh, 
Good run. Also, what's so funny is Jetstar lost my bag here in Sydney. Um, they've delivered it now a day later, but I'm wearing my friend Ash's clothing because Jetstar, classic Jetstar. My suitcase to make it to Sydney. It's just my favorite meal. My friend Ash. This is my friend Amber. She is my physio. She's incredible. She works with family athletes, and my gosh, she really loosened my muscles. I love the carbs. I love the carbs. Just a little late night snack: bread, avocado, tofu, sriracha. Yum. Two days out. This is not sponsored, but I have this every night before bed um, with hot water as like a hot chocky, and magnesium is so good for you. I just yeah. And then I put, I'll show you what I put in it. This in it, which is a sleep support, just to, and then I dip my chocolate in it because yes. If you've ever foam rolled before, you will know this is painful as heck. So essentially today is the day before the race. I went to play this morning with a friend, made a big brekkie. I just went and bought some sushi. I'm gonna go to Goji on the way, get some like dessert trees into me. Sorry, this is really weird. I actually stepped up and I booked a combination for Sunday night, but the run's on Sunday. So now when me and my friends went to rebook, we realized there was nowhere to stay. So we're staying in Torquay tonight and then we drive down to Lawn. Ow. And I'm really excited. I'm a little bit nervous. Just like, cause the temperature on my body's not great when it's like super cold. But really excited to do it with friends. It's such a good buzz after. I just want to like get that buzz after. But this is going to be my best friend over the next 24 hours. I'm going to pick up my friends soon and hit the road. All right, my friends. I am trying to get in as many carbs, fats as I can. I've got rice puffs here with uh, protein, almond butter, mango. I'm going to have sushi for lunch. Um, just really try and get it all in. I'll be packing this as well, which is Botanica. It's a natural pre-workout. I love to take um, as well before the race. Also get some of these at Vegan Joe's as well, which I'll be taking with me, but I'll show you everything tomorrow. All right, here's a little pre-race haul. So I'm gonna have a coffee, I'm gonna have a banana, I'm gonna have an energy bar and some toast. And then during the run, I'm going to have, well, obviously I'm wearing that, but I'm gonna be having some of these um, blueberry energy chews and chews, sorry, and a gel which I've been given. After the run, I'll be having these, obsessed, and this, and obviously a whole lot more, but that's like a snack after. Ready for the run? Can to see a Sean, starred by Sean. These are actually great, I would. Wear these. What? Yes, that's it's going right. on the vlog. Tom. Your IBS. <laughs> Make sure you roll out your IBS. <laughs> Chaotic. <laughs> Pre-run bathroom lines. Actually, wow. Hot tip: just got here to Kennet River. I'm not sure if you can hear. Get a bin bag and wear it. The bathroom lines are crazy. It's it's full on. It's freezing. It's so windy. I'm nervous. Let's do this. Race day. Johnny Chum, Oh my god. Hi. <laughs> We're ready. I think I'm at 17k. I'm struggling. I am knackered. I never want to do that again. Why do we do this? Sammy did his first. Ah, oh, it's money! Smash <laughs> Um, guys, we're in the vlog. Sean's loving it. Mm. The guys, smash it. What was your What was your time, Sean? One fifty-one. One fifty-one. No, one fifty-three. Fucking insane! One fifty-seven. Thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna head back to Geelong and get some food, but the traffic is so bad. I don't know what the advice would be to do it next time. I don't, I don't know. Walk home. <laughs> Run home. <laughs> yeah, just don't do it. No, it's great. Um, refuel. I think this place is called Box Office. Uh, oh yeah. That's a <laughs> wow. We're in. I didn't know you were filming. <laughs> of course. So good here in Toronto. Just headed to a pub, Marquee Lawn. It's a famous pub in Fitzroy for a post-run 
coffee and drink. I have brekkie ready in the morning, so it won't be late night for me. How far could you run on a normal basis before you committed to a half? To be honest, I started running a lockdown and I was starting with like one to two kilometers, then progressively five kilometers, 15 kilometers. I think the most I ever did before I actually attempted my first half marathon was 15 kilometers. Um, and then obviously just adding an extra six. The Great Ocean Road this year was my fourth actual half marathon. And it's actually a bit harder and further than a half marathon because of the incline the wind and also it's it being 23k so i think the most i ever did uh, before my first one though was 15 kilometers another question what tips do you have to maintain a good pace so honestly i don't know i think obviously i've been running more and training training definitely helps but i think um once you get in the zone and also a good playlist like a good hardcore techno remix playlist does help the adrenaline if you're listening to something chill and mellow then there's no kind of like the RPM beat going. So I would definitely recommend like a good playlist. I listen to big booty mixes, which is a Spotify playlist. I'll probably link the show notes if you're interested. But I think um, at first, don't even go for pace. Eventually, as you get fitter and um, find it more easier, then focus on pace. Um, and music for me always helps. How do you push past the 10 kilometers? Someone said I meant to do a 20 kilometer, 21 kilometer, but my mind says no. So pushing past 10 kilometers, I actually find the first like 15 kilometers the hardest. Once you hit 10 kilometers, don't even think about, I just need to double this, just think about one step at a time. Like I think, honestly, looking at your watch, I never check my watch, I never check my phone, I'm just like, keep going, keep going, keep going. Obviously when you're running half marathons, they do have signs on the ground, um, but I would say, try not to focus on the the watch or the stats, just keep running and uh, keep that uh, momentum going. And honestly, it's all in the mind, it's such a mind game. Like I honestly say in my head, like, we can do hard things one step at a time. You've got this, breathe, don't forget to breathe. Like it's a constant dialogue in your head. So trust me, it's not easy. It's not like I was like, oh, that was just easy. It was really hard. Um, and I think you in your head, that's the biggest thing. And also like we all get competitive, the ego kicks in a little bit. And we're like, we must get this done. So uh, that helps as well. How long do you train for in the lead up? To be honest, I have been training mindfully for this for quite some time. I, um, in the weeks leading up to it, saw physio, obviously had Cairo, like you saw, saw a nutritionist, um, Nina as well, who was amazing. Um, and then in terms of running, I made sure I got at least one long run in a week and a half to two weeks before. The other ones were just like five kilometer ones, but I would not advise anyone to sign up and do it without training. Like I think, your body is so sacred, like do not risk injury. I, I, everything I do, I'm like, I don't wanna get injured, I don't wanna get injured, I don't wanna get injured. So that's really important. And again, I'm not a professional. This is just what I did for me and um, it worked out really so. And that was hard, it was a hard run. Um, so I just signed up for my first half marathon. Congrats, that's so good. And they asked, what are your favorite car loading meals? The best part about it all, right? Um, I love and lead up falafels, lots of tofu, lots of rice, like, get rid of like the high fiber stuff. I had to like kind of cut out like brown rice and um, cabbage from my diet, no kombuchas, and really focus on um, white basic carbs as well. Um, I was having sugar, I was having gels, um, lots of lots, lots of good carbs in the lead up to it. Bread, peanut butter, bananas. Um, but you would have seen whatever I had the morning beforehand. Um, but yeah, I definitely say my recovery and favorite meals are like falafels, just falafs and lots of tofu, like my body's been craving a lot of protein today, which is the day after. Okay, I think that's everything. Of course, if you have any more questions, you can always slide on in. I am off for a walk, just to kind of keep my pins moving a little bit, but nothing crazy. I'm gonna go to the sauna shortly and meditate and just let this body recover. Um, thank you so much for watching this vlog. You can always hit like, subscribe, click that bell button, whatever they say. Um, and I will see you in the next video. If you have any more questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed it and good luck on your run if you're ever doing one. Hopefully we can run together soon.